In this video, I'll show you how to write the code so that an NPC follows you constantly within a certain distance. Also, feel free to check out my last video on how to add a kill sound when the NPC is killed by the player. If you enjoy these short coding tutorials and want to see more, please subscribe to this channel for free and leave a like. But now, let's not beat around the bush and get started with the tutorial. As the first step, you first add an NPC. Then, by clicking on the plus button, you create a new script. First, the script locates the player object in the hierarchy using local follow player, happy or script. Parent, find first child player. The script then defines a function called find nearest torso that finds the nearest torso to a given position. It starts by getting all objects in the workspace with local list jacker game. Workspace da get children. It initializes several variables, torso for storing the nearest torso, dist set to a large number for comparison, and temporary storage variables, temp, human, and temp2. It then iterates through each object in the workspace with a for loop. Within the loop, it checks if the object is a model and not the parent of the script using if, temp2, t class name, siarzeit, model, and temp2, script parent. For each valid model, it tries to find its humanoid root part and humanoid components. If both components exist and the humanoid is alive, human.health, zero, it calculates the distance between the object's position and the given position using local new dist, schachtstrace, tempobot.position, POs, magnitude. If this new distance is shorter than the current shortest distance, it updates the torso and dist variables with the new values. After the loop, the function returns the nearest torso found. Next, the script waits for an animation object to load with local animation, script, wait for child, animation, gets the humanoid component of the NPC with local humanoid, script. Parent, wait for child, humanoid and loads the animation onto the humanoid with local idle. Humanoid, load animation, animation. The animation is played and set to loop indefinitely. The script enters a continuous loop that runs every second, while true to wait each hour, one. In each iteration, it finds the nearest torso to the NPC's humanoid root part position using local target, find nearest torso script, dot parent, humanoid root part dot position. If a target is found, it moves the NPC's humanoid to the target's position using script. Parent. Humanoid. Move to. Target. Position. Now I'll rename this script to follow player. You can now create a walk animation yourself or insert one from the toolbox and upload it to Roblox to enter the ID in the animation property window. As you can see, the script works because the NPC always moves in my direction. And when I kill it, it responds and you receive a reward in the form of coins. If you use my NPC kit V1.4, you need to disable pathfinding or the waypoints follow mode beforehand. Also, make sure that the follow player script is activated. Thank you for watching. See you next time.